Okay, welcome to ETN News. We're looking at the earthquakes at Hawaii first. And we got quite a few small ones. Got a swarm south of Pahala. The city's right up in here, or town. And these here are in the chambers. Except for this one, 0 0.1 miles deep. It's a 1.9 though. And, you know, these over here, it's not in the chambers either. But these down here are, they're all in the chambers. And that one is a 2.3, 3.3 miles deep. Right on the side of Mauna Loa. You know, Hawaii, it's, uh, it's a place that's been acting up for a while. There's got to be changes there soon, of some kind of another. Okay, we all, all these quakes are small quakes, twos, and ones and twos. A few of them is upper twos in Alaska, so not much going on in Alaska. Let me see what else we got here. Okay, 2.7. That's about the biggest quakes we have is 2.7. And then another 2.7 up north. That's not much. Too quite, you know, don't look good. All right, now south west of Mount St. Helens, 1.8, 7.0 miles deep. We got to look at this, and 2.0, 10.6 miles deep. Watching this volcano because it's been uplifting ever since it erupted, and we can look at that on the Google Maps. Okay, 2.4 north of Deer Island, Oregon, 11.6 miles deep. I think that's a rare quake. I haven't never reported one in that area, not, not myself, and I've been on here quite a few years now. Mammoth Lakes, just a couple of small ones. Got these going down through the ridge crest and right on to the garlic, garlic, uh, garlic fault zone, and that's a 2.3 east northeast of Jonesburg, California, 5.1 miles deep. Have to see what's going on out here. Okay, this here scatters out once you go down toward the surface. But as you notice, we still got all of our activity he heading down to the San Jacinto Fault and not over here on the Brawley Seismic Zone where it used to go. Been going through here for quite a few years now, all the pressure. Got that swarm in Mexico. That is south of White City, New Mexico, down into Texas, drilling points, and up in here was drilling points before, and, well, it still is, but 4.1, that's a 4.1, 4.1 mile steep. There was a 4.3 there after it was all over, and then it went to 2.7, and all 2.3, and then it went up to a 4.1. So it tried to raise back up there, but that is aftershocks. The only other quake that we have is 1.7 east southeast of Amber, Oklahoma. But these are drill points. This was a weak spot in the crust. And what it is, is the craton. And if you crack it in a certain spot, it will make a weak spot and cause earthquakes to come up. Like I said, the earthquakes do travel under the craton. We do have them. We just don't feel them. I mean, you know, that deep, you can't hardly feel them. But anyway, cracked it here first. Had some large activity here. Then it cracked down here, all that drilling. Then it started happening down here and not much up this way. Well, this one right here slid right on through the 4.3. And the east... We don't got nothing going on on the east. We expect some activity over here. It's got to show something. It's got to go somewhere. You know, maybe on the major. South Carolina, North Carolina. It could go anywhere through here. Even up into Ohio. 
New York. But just got to watch for it. We don't know where it's going after it goes under through the crust like that because there's so many faults and they don't show fault maps on the east. You can't just can't find them. Not accurate ones. Maybe something that someone come up with, but I can't hardly find anything like that on the east. Okay, here's our 2.5 and greater. And let's see if I can click on that one. Okay, that's California. We was looking at that a while ago. And 2.5. Both of these are 2.5s. Not much activity. Not anything significant. Now, it showed that there was pressure releasing again. Like up to a upper si upper 5 to a 6.0 or greater, you know. Should be close to 6.0 or greater. But it was showing that, and then after I was looking at that, then we had this quake hit down here, 5.2. Chile. Now this is what I was just looking at today while I was studying. Okay, we're still looking for a larger quake over here. Again. Should be 6.0 or greater. Could be end up as a 5.8, 5.9. But still, we got to watch because it could cause a tsunami or something. It could break off a piece of chunk off of land into the ocean, or anything could go on with that. It could cause an underwater landslide, like over here on the Cascadia. Those ridges through here are so tall. I mean, a couple of them, thousands of feet. If they slid. You would have a tsunami and not even know it was coming. There would be no earthquake. There would be no warning. Just slide. That's all it would have to do. It's in the ocean. It would have to cause a big wave to come in. But we're looking for another quake. Around a 6.0 or greater over here in this area. A little bit of activity over toward the east. It even looks kind of on more up in there, but maybe that's just because it's empty. Maybe it's just because of the way I'm looking at it. And we did have some activity at Iceland yesterday. So we're watching that too. Okay, here's the storms. Severe tropical storm, 80 mile an hour, and it's tropical cyclone, about 90 mile an hour by 7 p.m. Thursday. Heading out through the Indian Ocean. Away from South America, South Africa, but we got Australia over here, and it could just curve right back up. It's it's just unpredictable about these storms. Another tropical disturbance right over from that one, and well, I dread all this light snow. It, that. Whether it just really the winds, uh, we've never had those winds like that before come through here the past couple of weeks. Destroyed a lot in my place. But anyway, I'll see you on the next updates. Everybody stay safe, and we'll be watching.